Now, textile waste is having a devastating impact on Ghana's beaches. The country's coast is littered with the rotting fabric of old clothes from the global north. Now, every day, some 160 tons of clothes arrive in Ghana, and the whole economy has developed around second-hand clothes. But very little of those garments are usable. And as you're about to see, in Ghana, more than 70 tons of fabric a day ends up in landfills, presenting an ecological disaster. The waves of the Atlantic Ocean, swallowing piles and piles of old clothes once worn in the West. Now they're polluting Ghana's coastline. Even in the center of Accra, these huge trash heaps have been growing for more than a decade. They're made up mostly of discarded clothing and are around 20 meters tall. Look at all this. We don't need it. It doesn't have use. Under their feet are old American or European branded clothes. Trying to get rid of them has led to other problems. This is Jean Trazer, boss company. This is another Jean Trazer. This is what we are all looking at, and we are burning it. All the time we are burning it, but still, the boiler is too much for us. It's giving us sickness, fever, headache, and much other things. The fumes from these fires are likely toxic, but there have not yet been scientific studies into the issue. So where do these clothes come from? Every day, Ghana receives 160 tonnes of them. They arrive by boat, used clothes that were donated to organisations in Europe or the US. No one there wants them anymore, so international recycling companies send them here. At the Cantamanto market, they're sold in bulk for a few cents a kilo. We are buying second-hand clothes. We sell it. We are talking. Yeah, so that's why we are here. <laughs> Dubai, London, Dubai, London, London. London. Yeah, America, Canada. Canada. Yeah. In Ghana, a whole economy has developed around these used clothes. At the top of the ladder, there are wholesalers. In this shop, dozens of bags are waiting to be sold. Children's dress. You can see babies ramping medium. This is the men underwear. Big business I'm talking of. Can't you see the, the, the shop? It's very big. And we normally offload our goods a month twice or thrice. Retailers resell the clothes and each has their own speciality. Shoes, for example, or underwear. The problem is a huge amount of the items are no longer usable. This saleswoman has just bought a 55 kilo bundle. Unfortunately for her, inside, it's a disappointment. Trash, trash. It does trash. Nobody's buying this one. So something like this, we can't sell it. It's very bad. Nobody buys it. And at the end of the day, you lose. As a result, mountains of clothes go to the dump. At this market, more than 70 tons are thrown away every day. Liz Ricketts set up a foundation to try to understand the environmental impact of this textile pollution. You can see that the clothing is embedded in the environment. So it's creating an environmental catastrophe where to pull this stuff out of the sand is nearly impossible. It'll take many, many, many more years for that to degrade and release harmful microfibers and toxins into the environment in that process. Around the world, clothes are getting cheaper. People are buying more and throwing more away. Without a change, these heaps will keep getting higher. And for more on the story, we've invited Joshua O'Dampton onto the program. He is an activist in Ghana. He's with an NGO called The Ore Foundation. He's joining us from Accra. Welcome to DW News Africa, Joshua. We've just seen the mess that's been created over the years by, by second-hand clothes. Just tell us, what is the scale of this problem in Ghana? Um, it's a massive problem for us here in Accra. Because we have the Accountamental Market, which is uh, the biggest second-hand clothing market in the world. 
and uh, some of these um, African countries rely on us. So we 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 have about 15 million garments a week, and uh, some of these garments mostly makes its way to some parts of the uh, West African countries. And around 40 percent leaves the market, and most most of them end up as waste. So it's mostly ends up in the oceans. So. It's, right. it's, it's really terrible for me to say, yeah. What needs to be done about this? Um, well, I would say here, yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a solution that we need to bring up because we, we have a lab, that's where I'm working with the OR Foundation that I've been working with over the last eight, uh, eight to 11 years. 11 years, I would say. We, we have a lab where we are working on recycling and upcycling solutions. So we collect the waste from the countermountain market and we transform it to various things like cushions and fiber, fiber boards. And uh, we have a shredder and we also train people from the countermountain market to work on machines to recycle all the things that we mostly collect from the countermountain market, which mostly end up as waste. So the solution now is uh, none of this will matter, however, if uh, we are not able to stop the fast fashion industry from producing more than people can actually consume. Because that's one, one of the biggest problems. There's more production than consuming. And uh, it's, it's becoming a problem. So yeah, for, for we right. here at the lab, we, we are running a small scale. We are running at a small scale now. And we hope to find solution that will allow us to respine the waste and use it to revitalize uh, the local tester industry. All right. Thank you so much. That is a voice from Accra there, Joshua Odumton, talking to us. Thank you very much. We appreciate your insights.